Anna. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy, oh God, I can hear myself, hang on. Make that stop. Happy Friday, I hope you're all having a wonderful morning. Today is Friday the 28th of January and today I, as part of the Great International Craft Show Online, we are doing some fantastic specials and some live demos each day. So I thought today I'd make some cards with you guys. Um, this first project is a uh, using the new papers from Paper Rose, which is the May Gibbs papers. And I thought I would whip up a very quick and easy card kit. Now this is a $21 kit that is currently available online. There are no written instructions. You are watching the instructions. That is the easiest way to do it. You'll get printouts of what the cards look like, uh, and which is nice and simple. But this, uh, I'm going to make them live here and then you can watch this back on YouTube or back here on my Facebook page and, um, and see, yeah, see how to make these cards. So, um, alright. So, you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au and that's where you'll find the kit in the new for January section on the front page. You'll also find it in the show specials and... Uh, in the new for February as well and the class and the online kits don't forget uh, you can join the Natalie May scrapbooking creative community which is a private Facebook group where I give you a bit of a heads up on what's going on where you can take advantage of some of the specials and competitions that we have running follow me on um, Instagram under happy Dax and YouTube Natalie May scrapbook ideas Okay, so I'm just going to crack right into it because I've got lots of cutting, whoops, sorry about that, lots of cutting to do today. These papers are really, really nice. So this is the um, brand new collection. It's only just come out in the last few days from Paper Rose um, and it is the licensed May Gibbs. So these are really, really nice. They are double-sided papers and what I've decided, decided to do is just take a few from the collection just to create some simple cards that you can build on. So they're really easy to do. But how cute is that little image there? Um, and then this particular paper here, this one is not from the May Gibbs collection, but it is from the Tropical Resort collection. But I grabbed it because I love these greens. And these greens go really, really nicely with these here and here. So I'm coordinating it. Before I start, the first thing I want to do is I want to cut these images here up to three into three by fours or a little bit smaller because these are the images that I want to use for my embellishments. Okay, so they are what I want to use for the embellishments for my cards. Now, like I said, these are going to be super simple cards. I'm wanting to keep them as, as simple as possible so that they can be built on. So what I'm doing is cutting these down, making them a little bit smaller so I don't have to do any unnecessary cutting. Now I'm just going to trim them back a little bit before I cut them back again. measurements for these cards my when I create cards uh, in, a, in a manner like this where it's super easy I like to keep it simple trust your eye you know what looks good you can you can generally measure it uh, measure by eye 
and creating some nice simple bases for you to build on if you wanted to. The idea here is keeping it super simple. So I've cut that one and as you can see it's not centered so I'm just going to take a little bit off of that side. And this little card kit is all going to be about matting and layering papers ready to go. So they like that. And this last slot here, a little off the bottom, a little off the top. Perfect. So what I have here in front of me, um, Robin, I, I've actually ordered in a large, so Robin's just asked the question about my paper trimmer. Um, I have some large paper trimmers on order at the moment and I do actually have you in the order book, Robin, for the minute that they come in. But due to shipping and um, supply chain issues at the moment, of course, they've gone on back order. All right, so let's have a look at these little images here. So these are the little three by four cards. Um, what I like about these is that I can I can map them and I can put stickers over the top if I need to. So if I don't like the words that are on here, that's a nice little panel that I can cover up. Um, I can add to here. Oh, that's super cute. Look at that. Little bush babies. Um, so there's some wonderful cards. So I've got some horizontal and some vertical cards to work with. So let's just separate these. Vertical. Vertical, vertical, vertical. Oh, look at that. All right. So let's whip up 12 cards. I'll pop those aside there. Uh, when I create cards, I have got um, I use these A5 pieces um, in your in the kit that is available online they're ready to fold in half to make the perfect size card what I've had done today just for ease is I have just cut them back to be six by four pieces so uh, so they're easy enough to for camera to work with all right uh, I'm going to start with taking this plain green and cutting off the barcode strip. And then I'm going to cut it back to, I want pieces that are going to fit quite nicely onto here. So I'm just going to cut a few pieces back to six by four because we don't want to use that side. We don't want those beach images. And I'm going to aim today to create 12 cards. Okay, so 12, 12 easy cards just using simple layering. And I can trim these back as I go, but this is going to give me a nice little foundation here to work with. So what I want to do is I now want to take that and adhere it to the front here. So I want a little bit of a, a, white, a white border all the way around. Now I am not a measurements person. Measurements are, I don't have time for measurements. I don't do maths, I make pretty things. So I'm a pencil mark person. So what I will do is I will mark with a pencil where I want to trim it. And then trim it to the mark. And then that piece is gonna fit perfectly onto there. And just to simplify it, I'm just gonna grab my 
tape runner. Now the tape runner is just a generic tape runner. Oh, sorry, it's the Express It tape runner. Um, and I'm just gonna stick that straight down. So there's the base of my first card. And then I'm gonna repeat that with three more cards. So same thing again. Mark with my pencil. Trim it back. Tape, tape. Normally I would put a bit more tape on it, uh, but because I'm doing this as a quick class, I could ink the edges as well to make it look super cute. something straight there but that's okay should be right again pencil mark where I want to cut it so keeping it simple simple done 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 because they don't have to be complicated Oh, good morning to everyone just tuning in. Uh, I think next, so I've created four, four backgrounds there. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go some more. No, these ones are a little wider. Either my measurements were out or... Let's be honest, my measurements were out. Morning, Jackie. Jackie, darling, did you see my earlier Facebook today? Where we announced the winner of the daily prize? I hope you did catch that. Because you, Jackie Vinan, because you placed an audit yesterday, went in the drawer to win... A little bit of love in your order, which is awesome. I'm going to use this paper next. I'm going to cut the barcode off. Uh, in fact, you received um, your prize is a is a wonderful, wonderful. gift prize donated by Minte. So that will go into your order. Okay, so I've done the first six just with the green background. And now I'm going to do a couple more. So I've gone for this paper here and I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to trim it to six by four. And I'm going to go here cut so if you place an order today on nataliemay.com.au you will go into the drawer to win a A prize there'll be one lucky order a day that goes in in the draw to win and we will add to that to your order 
and um, which will be fantastic because everybody loves a prize. All right. Two cards there, quick card fronts, so they're looking good. Um, so I look at this here and I think it's great, but it's a bit busy. So I am going to do a couple of six by fours. Maybe I'll do one more. Now the other thing is, is by using this paper, of course I have to use one of the vertical cards on it. So I'm going to go with doing just one. Uh, so for those of you just tuning in for the first time, I am creating a, a card kit using the May Gibbs paper from Paper Rose. Uh, what I'm creating right now will be is currently available online as a $21 kit to create some nice simple cards. And I need to do three more cards, so I'm going to keep that and that aside. And I'm going to use this one here. And this time I'm going to cut it at six inches because I love this. Oh, hang on, what am I going to do? Oh, no, let's do four. And it's got this gorgeous print on it. I'm using my pencil again. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more to do. I don't, at the moment, I don't love that as a, as a big, bold background print. I find it um, that the colours don't match in beautifully with this. It's going to make a nice little highlight, uh, but it's not going to work for me as a background print. Of course, it's completely up to you. If you decide you want to do that, you can... Tape runners died, and that's why I don't love tape runners. Okay. So what I have left is some strips. like this and I've also got my barcode strips which are one two three four because I'm going to use those as well okay I've got 
let's lay them all out. So this is how I plan the cards out and this is always my next step. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's two more which don't fit on camera, but that's okay. I'll swap those out. That one and that one. And now I'm going to take my little three by four cards and I'm going to pop them out where I want them to go. So I like this one here with the leafy background. That's really cute. This one here is really cute on these little pieces here because they are included in that background. This one's got a nice pop of yellow. It'll get lost on that one. Pop it there. So that's this one here. So it's like doing a little jigsaw puzzle. pink. So what I've got left here, I've got the kookaburra. I do like the kookaburra on the wattle card. And then that leaves me with three here. So I've got one, two, three. So I've got Oh, I've got these six cards laid out. Um, embellishment wise, I want to mat all of these little cards onto some craft card stock. So I want to do that to give it an extra little bit of embellishment, um, an extra little bit of work to it. So I've got a piece of just plain craft card stock here. And I'm going to tape it to there. So I'll do a couple at a time. Oh, that one doesn't fit on there. So when we are putting our card on, I'm, I'm going to choose... So there's a couple that I've trimmed down to be quite small, quite thin, and this is where you can do a little bit of a jigsaw. But you don't want a big border all the way around, okay? We just want a small border all the way around. And then I can go back and trim these. So you could easily have uh, done this as an earlier step But it certainly pays to customise them to make them a little bit smaller and they do stand out much nicer on your cards. So done, 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 done. 
Louise, could you grab me an additional piece of craft cardstock, please? I think I'll include an extra piece in the kit. No craft. Oh, craft, sorry. <laughs> Close. Oh, the other piece of paper. Just in case I need it. Oh, well, they're cute, aren't they? They are super cute. So the cards are all about making the these things here the hero. The pattern paper is just going to emphasise how pretty it is, but we're just wanting to we're just wanting to um, make these little six by four cards the hero. So uh, Paper Rose have got the exclusive rights to use the May Gibbs images, which is fabulous. And um, so it is something that is unique to them within the paper craft industry as well. So um, yeah, just, I'm gonna cut that in half. That's right, I'll do that in a jiffy, thank you. So matted. And then these will, because these are gonna be the hero pieces, these will all be foam taped to the front of the cards in a moment. <laughs> Done. And I've probably just changed all of my images to my background papers. But yeah, you know, you know, it'll be fine. It won't matter anyway because all of the papers are coordinating. Just making it up as I go along. So if you are a measure and cut person, I apologise in advance because that's definitely not my thing. I am a create on the fly sort of person, just make it happen. As we go, I find it much easier to create like this. Um, kind of gives you a bit of an insight how my brain works, doesn't it? evening up these borders. <laughs> yeah, gift cards. What an excellent idea. So, um, Shell's just commented saying that she can't wait to make little gift cards with these. Yeah, exactly. Perfect project. Okay, the size of the cards, hey, that's completely up to you. Um, and yes, I did not have enough. So let's go with a half a piece. Um, yeah, I didn't, um, yeah, gift cards would be beautiful for this. Absolutely perfect for this paper. Especially if you are the sort of people that still sends things in the post. And sending some, uh, a nice card to somebody overseas with the Australian icon on it super easy all right quick drink break
Yeah, have you had any water today, Louise? Have you had water at home? All right. So what I like to do is get some foam tape on the back of these. Um, foam tape or cardboard is my, my go-to quite often. Um, I, we like to do a little bit of upcycling here. So a piece of cardboard sitting on the back here can work really, really well. Um, and I like to... I like to have, I'm just going to cut up some card ready to go. Um, if I get all of these mounted, uh, I can just stick them straight on with some glue. I don't have to, I don't have to use tape. I can just use glue. Um, that is perfectly fine. because we get a lot of cardboard boxes coming through the shop here with um, all the wonderful stock, I have a, um, a large amount of cardboard ready to go. Okay, where's the glue is the next question. Here we go. And I'm going to keep these simple and center. What I can then do in a minute is I can go in here with these decorative strips and add highlight pieces. Like I said, I'm aiming for simple here. I'm not going to complicate these. I'm going to keep it super basic. I don't want to to make them over the top fancy. I want them to be, I want these images to be the hero pieces. Now something, other than the fact that that one's really wrong, something that you might notice that I'm doing here is once I've got the card, so I'm putting that on there with my cardboard Putting that on, you see how I'm wriggling it backwards and forwards here? What's happening there is it's just making sure that the, the glue spreads out and it doesn't go too lumpy bumpy and it dries a lot quicker because I'm spreading it out, okay? Is that a little trick for you? And the glue catches. Tina, what GMS for base card. All right, so somebody's just asked the question, the lovely Tina. Firman, okay, she's looking for a, a card. What GSM is my card? Um, I've got no idea what the weight is of the card that I use. The cards that I sell are in a, a Pack of pack of ten, and it's A5. It's got a nice weight to it once it's folded. Um, and it's and it's quite a nice heavy heavy cardstock. So I sell these in a pack of a pack of ten for um, oh I don't know with envelopes. I can't remember how much they are actually. Four dollars. Maybe, whoops, I don't want that one. So um, yes, there is a card and envelope pack that I sell online. So I do, I do use a heavier weight, a heavier weight card um, because yes, exactly that problem. You want something to hold up to whatever's going to go on the front of that card, correct? Um, so I don't use, for example, I won't use a cheap, a cheaper um, Kazercraft 12 by 12 cardstock. That's perfect for a scrapbook. Oh, hello, Delphina. Delphina's just said, Tina, 
They are per they're the perfect weight for the cards. That's the ones that I sell. Uh, I do not... She doesn't use anything else. And yes, Delphina does make a lot of cards. And when I do card classes here in the studio, here in Adelaide, uh, when, when we go back to doing classes again, they are, Louise is just telling me they're $3.50 for a 10 pack, including envelopes. Um, they're, what, they're what we use in the card classes. So I will put a link up, um, but this card kit will actually give you 12 cards ready to go. As well okay trim that one off. scissors trimmed oh that one's a bit thick so yes that is what we use for uh, for making cards and I, I I don't use anything else. I, I stick with what I know and I stick with something that is a good quality and something that is going to um, pretty much hold up to anything. So whether it be a, you know, the rest of the card classes that I'm going to do today, I'll be using exactly the same card pack. Gee, that one's on really crooked. Should be right. Last one. Okay. So as you can see, they all have now a little bit of height to them. So you could have quite easily used foam tape to do this. You could have quite easily used cardboard like I have. Whatever floats your boat for mounting, you can do that. I work, like I said, what works for me due to the large amount of cardboard that we have come through, I like to add bits of cardboard box. The next step for me is I'm just going to keep it, like I said, keep it simple and on each card front, especially these plainer ones. Actually, in fact, let's just work on the plain ones for now. Pop these ones aside while that glue is drying. So I've got six planes. We'll come back to those and what I want to do is talk about how I'm going to embellish these because I've got no idea actually I'm just going to wing it here right there's my first six cards in here and in here you can stamp a sentiment you can die cut a word we've got some there's some lovely die cuts available where you can add You know, you can die cut a small word, you can stamp an image, you can find a sticker to pop in there. I'm not going to put anything in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some small strips of paper to from what we have got here to embellish. Uh, so I'm going to start with this one here. Okay, and I want to add... I'm only cutting like a, a one inch strip. So I've got a one inch strip here and I just want to use the yellow side of it and I'm going to cut out a banner. So to do that, I cut in the middle and then I go from corner to corner. Do the same thing again in the middle. Then I go from corner to 
corner. Now I can cut that in half and I have a banner that I can slide in, in under here for a quick, simple little pop of color. So let's do that. So I'm gonna get my glue again and I'm gonna slide it in and that's got a word on it. So it has to go in on this side. Now at this point, you can make these as fancy schmancy as you like. I want to keep it basic. I've got a little head poking out there, that's so cute. Just gonna cut a little bit off that. Okay, and let's just keep it simple. I am gonna be drawing a black outline around all of these cards as well to lift them. Same thing again, let me show you that little technique. One in that way. Then we go corner to corner, and I've done a banner. Turn it around in the middle corner to corner cut it in the middle and from here I can go let's do this one here and I want that one showing this time again it's all about the hero which is that card in the middle slide a little glue in but I can't wait to see how you guys build on these kits there's so many little beautiful little images that you can use um, this one here I want a little bit it's got these lovely dark gum nuts in it so I want to use one so I'm going to cut that off there this is how to be frugal as well with your cards, with your, with your leftover papers. You don't need all that extra paper. So I'm gonna pop just a little bit. Chuck it in there. Tuck it in there. Cut that bit off. Now there's a couple of other things. I've got all these other little bits and pieces where I cut off. You know, I, don't, I like to use my scraps. I like to use these little bits that I have floating around. So this was an off cut of the six by four cards, the cards that we started with. So I'm just gonna pop a little glue strip down there a little glue strip down there and this has got the little flowers on the back of it so I'm using the zero wastage here I keep all my rubbish on my desk until the end all right simple and effective but just a nice little amount of detail to go on that card. And as soon as that dries, I will snip off or wrap around. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. So this time I'm gonna go with this beautiful, well actually this one's already got that piece on it because that's on the barcode. So we'll go with there, cut it in half. So these are actually great little cards for kids as well. If you wanna do a little project with the kids, I know most of the kids are going back to school next week in different places around Australia. Yeah, not everywhere, but that's okay. Um, 
I've got some little pieces here from those six by four cards. I could add some decorative pieces down through here. That works. Oh, here's another skinny bit. Let's use those scraps. Tina, being frugal helps with less weight on the card base too. You are correct. That would help with my issues for the card base not being strong enough. Yeah, you're right. So I, I do build a base. Did I just cut two pieces off? No. Um, and it's about being smart. When you receive a kit that you want to build on, it's about being smart with your papers. Thinking, how can I use that somewhere else? Okay? So you don't have to overcomplicate it. It doesn't have to be this incredibly amazing work of art every single time. You can oh, you can go with something that looks, you know, amazing. Um, with this one here, I want to add, I would like to add um, a pop of this background here. So I'm going to create a couple of little banners. So I've got like about a two piece wide strip, two by two, and I want to slide a bit in the top and slide a bit in the bottom. The little nudie rudy little look at that cute little bottom on that. Alright, how are we going for time? Oh that's pretty good. 45 minutes. Alright. Keeping it simple. And the thing that's going to finish this all off and tie it up is definitely going to be the uh, black outline that I'm going to do around the edges. Okay, so I'm going to crack through these. That's not straight, but that's okay. Trimming it off. You could add pieces of string to add a little bit of interest to it as well. Let's just cut that off. Um, you're in when you purchase the kit I will um, when you purchase the kit I'll be adding photos of the finished cards okay so you're currently watching the instruction kit here um, so Esther has just asked the question when making a purchase from your shop and I may want to add to the purchase over the next couple of days how does that work great question let me tell you about no judgment postage. So no judgment postage is what we do. So you do need to pay for, you need to put your first order through and pay for postage. So your first order will have $12.50 postage on it. And we ask that you pay, or $18 for express. Uh, and we ask that you pay that full amount for your first order. Every order after that you can build on by choosing no judgment at the checkout. And what will happen for an additional one dollar we will put all of your orders together. Now postage is not free okay. Postage is not free. I still have to pay your postage to get it out to you. Um, but what we will do is put them all together for you for one buck, one dollar. So you do have to pay postage the first time you place an order. Okay, so that definitely has to happen. But if you wanna to add to your order, next time you do an order on your second or your third or your 12th order, you will need to Pay $12.50. Sorry, pay, pay for no judgment. So $12.50 for your first order. Does that make sense, Esther? Okay. So we will make sure that 
that we bundle all your orders together. What happens is quite often um, our ladies go through and do a little shopping and then they do a little more shopping and then they do a little more shopping. But if you find that you pay postage more than one time, we will refund you any additional postage. So you just need to take a little second at the checkout, make sure that you've already, you have paid for postage the first time, and then we can build on it from there, all right? I might take this one here and add some strips of green. Maybe. No, I like that one. All right, so you're just adding these cute little, it's bugging me. There we go. These cute little, um, these cute little images here. Just a little bit of glue. Just these little dainty little strips. Yeah, we're not going to post any orders today, Esther. There's no fear of that. Orders will be posted on Monday. The sale, the online show will end on Sunday night. Um, and we will be posting all orders on Monday and Tuesday. And that piece is too short, so let's just swap those around. So as long as you complete all of your orders by midnight Adelaide time on Monday, sorry, Sunday, gosh, um, that is, that's it. So we, we don't hold orders any longer than that, but we will, we will certainly be posting on Monday and Tuesday. What we do is we spend a couple of days going over each individual order, going through, making sure everything is there, making sure that we hopefully haven't missed anything and putting them all together. Okay, so now I just want to add some simple decorative bits to these cards. Um, no, see that's too busy to be added to that. No. Maybe. Wrong colour green. Oh, that's better. No worries, darling. See, we like to, because we do a new special every day, so today's deal is 15% off of acrylic paints and 15% off of alcohol inks. So if you placed an order yesterday or when you... You finish the, you know, once we finish these cards here and you decide that you've, you know, you've already placed an order this morning, maybe you'd like to add this card kit to your order. So you can easily do that just by um, popping it in again and take a second at the checkout. Have a look. You can change your options for shipping at the checkout. You just need to take a minute to do that. Stop and have a look and go, oh, how much is shipping there? How much am I paying for postage? All right. Tomorrow's special is going to be a ripper. You are definitely going to want to see what's happening tomorrow. So make sure you pop back. And you will definitely want to add to your order. All right. So I'm just adding these little super cute little tiny banners. at different levels, all right? Just like that. All right, next one. I'm gonna do the same thing again, but all right, might go a bit earthy this time, okay? So we've got one, two, three. And again, it's all about using up these scraps that you've got. The barcode strips.
bit of overlapping there, a bit of glue down ready for the next one. Alright, oh, I'm getting close to the end guys, thank you for sticking with me here. And I hope you can see how quick and easy it can be, oh that one's a bit wonky, to make 12 cards with very little effort. It's just about being smart. This is annoying me that this is crooked. It's just, it's just about being smart and using what you have in front of you. I have limited my supplies. That makes a big difference as well. So this is all I have got to play with. Um, therefore, I'm going to make it work. That's better. Too busy. Wrong greens. What am I going to add? What am I going to add? Don't want more of that. Don't want that colour. I'm going to add one of these dark browns in because there's some dark brown in here. All that strip all the way off. Right. That piece is going to go there. That piece is going to go there. Straight into there. Commit to it. Glue. Commit to it. Glue. Again, I've got one of those tiny little pieces from earlier. And because we have lifted up these pieces, our, our heroes, our focal points, we can slide in bits underneath easily enough, okay? Okay, keeping it simple. I'll come back to that. I'm not going to touch the kookaburra one. The kookaburra, there's enough going on here that I don't need to do anything else. So I'm going to keep that right there. And I tend to think the same here. Maybe I'll add, I'll add a bit of this one actually. So how am I going for time? Oh, look at that. Nearly an hour and I've created 12 basic cards. Basic can work great. Not over complicated, not super fancy. Now covered in glue. That goes there. And when you're giving someone a handmade card, which by the way, when was the last time you had a look at a newsagent about how much a card is? Holy moly, was it you Louise that tried to buy a card? Yeah, 12. Which we don't even need to talk about why Louise was buying a card in the first place when there's 70 million of them here. But they were like 12 or 13 bucks to buy a card. So having a stash or, or a kit. I'll trim that one off in a second. And my last little one here, which is going to have... <sighs> Nearly done, guys. All right. I'm going to cut a little banner out of that. One. Two. I might stick a green piece in the middle. Okay. 
Um, and in a moment, I will quickly, whoops, that bit's a bit too long. I will quickly show you um, how and, and how, what I do for the, add the adding the doodling element with a black pen, because um, that will finish off the cards quite nicely uh, and tie some of the images together, okay? All of that over that way. Clean spot, put the lid back on my glue. And finding a pen standard. Oh, that'll do. All right. So just a thin black pen. No, nothing. You could use a black sharpie. Now these lovely paper rose papers are slightly coated, so you do need to be aware. You know, do a little test. Make sure that it works. Yep, that's going to work. And what I like to do is just a, a loose line all the way around. Now, because the, the printed image has black in it and our background image has black in it, a black doodle frame can help bring it together, okay? So nothing more than going around, even over the printed images and I'll bring it up to camera in a moment to show you I'll do a couple like I said because that is a coated paper finding the right pen for the job oh there it is that's the pen I was looking for this is the pilot Pilot pen that we sell online that is excellent for doing really fine details. All right, so just that little, oh, that little scribbly little line around it just finishes it off. And there's those little details in there that I slid in just from my scraps on that side and that side. Um, so I will go through and doodle all of these, but let me just bring all of these up to camera just to quickly show you. So here's the importance of that, that craft border all the way around, sitting on top of a foam piece or a cardboard piece. These little elements down here that, that just add enough little bits of interest. So same thing on this one. And also on this one here so I will add some doodling on here to help them stand up from the background this one here of course has got the highlight with this pop of color so in the middle here you can put a stamped image you can pop a sticker you could pop a pop a die cut word in there you've got room for your sentiment this one here we've got this gorgeous super cute little pink baronia baby and I added in some of this pink baronia from the scraps with just a decorative strip down there. Okay, and this one here has got the edge barcode piece with an off cut and another off cut over the top. So there's that little green strip that we stuck on. Same thing here, we've got just a scrap of paper out of my pile on top of the barcode strip. Our little banners that stick into the side. I could add a few more banners up, up and down here. They would certainly work. And the same thing here. Again, we're talking about making our, our main piece our hero of the page. Oh, tractor going past. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so we're making that the hero of our card. What I will then do, now that I have created this, and mine is a card front, I will stick that to the front of my card, ready to go, and pop it in a, a standard size envelope, and, and there we go, out the door, good to go. All right, so not overly complicated cards, very, very basic, plenty of, plenty of area for you to move and build on, and get in there and um, turn these into 
into your own and that's important as well when you're creating any sort of project from a kit. I'm sure all of you have got ample stamps and stickers that you could add your own personal touches to, to these, especially in here. Um, I know I've got some lovely little um, happy birthday stamps or some just for you stamp or thinking of you that you could add in there. Uh, and they will certainly make a difference. So these are, this is a $21 kit that is available online at nataliemay.com.au. You will find it in the show specials. You will find it in the kits by Natalie May section and you will certainly find it um, easily enough online and you can add it to your order. Um, so I'm gonna finish these up now with just a little doodling. Take some photos and get printing so that I can put them in with the kit. You have just watched the instructions for the May Gibbs card, simple card kit. Um, all right, guys, thank you very much. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au for the remainder of the show. We have got two more days of specials coming, um, two more live Facebooks planned for today. The next one is at 1.30 Adelaide time and then again at 4 p.m. Adelaide time. And we're going to be making some more cards today as well. All right, so I look forward to chatting with you all soon. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask. Catch you soon.